back now with the final hour of today on this Thursday morning, 6th day of August 2007. We mentioned before, still two weeks of summer, so we shouldn't be calling it a fall crowd. We've got some chance for some warm weather and some nice temperatures, and we've got a great crowd enjoying the sunshine here in Midtown Manhattan. For the past several weeks, we've been taking you to the most beautiful places in America, from the grand wilderness of Yellowstone to the Great Plains to New Orleans. And as it turns out, a lot of folks are choosing country living over the city life. Here's NBC's Kevin Tipples. Green Acres is the place to be. The Gargiulos moved from the Big Apple to the tiny town of Tryon, North Carolina, seven years ago and never looked back. Just the absence of the chaos and the, uh, the pressure of New York City, it's really a relief. That's what we're known as, the friendliest town in the South. Call it a rush to the rural life, as folks forsake the conveniences of the city for the comforts of the country. I think there's a little bit of dreaming in everyone, and to someday have that little place in the country. Progressive Farmer Magazine tracks the trend, looking at things like crime, pollution, schools, and health care in naming the 10 best places to live in rural America. Number 10, Polk County, North Carolina. It's where Alvin Pack grew up and has now returned more than 25 years later. We don't deal with traffic. We don't uh, deal with standing in lines. It's just naturally pretty here. Natural beauty abounds in all the spots, including Amador County, California, Sac County, Iowa, and Warren County, Pennsylvania. You're looking for great neighbors. You're looking for a great place to live and a great place to raise a family. That's what makes these places unique. Driving through these rural towns, it's easy to see another thing they've got in common. Lots and lots of relatively cheap land. Tucked midway between Nashville and Louisville, we find the top spot to live in rural America, Barron County, Kentucky. We were number one, and I was, it knocked my socks off. Barron County is the kind of place where regulars still gather at the downtown drugstore. I walk around the square, and everybody's saying, hey. Ken Mattingly lived in Barron County as a teenager. He left for work in a bigger city, but came back to raise his own family and start an artesian cheese business. I kind of found a new me, you know, and uh, just an openness in the rural community. Like many, his road to the rural life is paved with happiness and simplicity. I was born in a small town. For today, Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Chicago. I'm inspired. Oh, I'm Let's go. Packing a ranch. Oh, I know. We'll, we'll be here for a few more days. Then we're gone. All right. <laughs>